Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will create generative AI application using Spring Boot AI. So we are for that one we are using Llama 3. So first of all we will see what is Llama 3. So this is from Olama. So Olama is a AI services and currently it is having if you see the models. So Llama 3 is a one of the model from the meta actually. So if you see Llama 3 is the latest one, so if you open this one, so if you see the model, license, template, param, so this is the Llama 3 and we are using this LLM, uh, LLM integrating with the Spring AI, okay. And uh, so quickly open my medium page, okay. So we see why we are using LLM 3. So basically it is a AI services. And by using this, and uh, you can use the various natural language processing like text generation and language understanding and chatbot and conventionals and content creation. Okay, for these things, we can use for this uh, Lama 3. Okay, so in this application, we will integrate Spring AI with Lama 3. Okay, first we will see how it is looks like that uh, structure. Okay, so for example, it is our Spring Boot application. So you are already aware of Spring Boot is nothing but that creating the REST API, right? So using the Spring Boot REST API, we'll call this model. And uh, this model, what we'll do, it will take the input from the Spring Boot, whatever we are passing. For example, this is the request, if you see here. So model is Llama 3 and prompt I'm passing, tell me a joke about the teacher and stream as false. So this is the arguments I'm passing to the a model so this a model will process this one i'll give the response back see that response is given like this so this is the response it is given by the uh, model okay and there is one more scenario there is a own data so currently i we are not uh, integrating with our own data right now okay so directly whatever available for the llm uh, from this it will be giving the response okay so for example you have some own data if you want to deal with that data only so in this case, what we need to do, so we need to create one vector database. In that database, we need to load our data. Okay. So in this case, from the Olama LL, uh, LLM, so from there is another methods to call our own uh, data and it will return uh, back to that uh, Spring Boot. Okay. So this is another uh, second case. So today case, we need to show Spring Boot with OLM, this AI model. How we need to integrate this one okay so also if you're coming to this uh, model if you go to that model so if you see this is like a documentation also we can see here for example come down so this is the api documentation for this and see this is available in the github only okay so if you come here in the scroll down so generate a completion this is the api api slash generator so for this one, what is the input they require? See, so this is the API and this is the input we need to pass. Model is LLM3 and the prompt, uh, this uh, this is the message I am passing, okay? So the, uh, so if you want response is in the form of fujison okay? So there is a one more API. So here they are passing stream as a false, okay? So what is the difference between here and here? If you see the response is block, if you are passing the stream, this response will get, will get in the single line, entire response. Otherwise, response will get in the multiple time. I will show you how this response uh, will looks like if you are passing stream without stream, how this response will get. Okay. So if you want to know about uh, more, more about this LLM3, just you can go to this documentation and you can see all the APIs. Okay. Whatever the APIs we require as for the units, you can just try all these things. Okay. Okay. So for this one, first what we need to do? First, we need to download the Llama. So come to this home page and here we have the download option. So when you click this download and here is the download for Windows. So this one already I downloaded. So if you see in my downloads page, so this one already I downloaded and just you can right double click on this and it will start on installation in your system. Okay. So already I installed in my system also. So I'm not installing now. So once the system is installed and uh, this will run in the port number, uh, this one. Okay. So if you see, Olama is running. So double one four three four. Okay. So if you want more 
documentation uh, for this you can visit my medium page so here i mentioned uh, olama set like to download from the page once you are downloaded and uh, once you set up is done you can go through this lock this ip local host and the ip address is port number is double one three double one four three four once you launched uh, it will come like this okay so once this this is for uh, installing the olama so once olama is done again we need to uh, run that uh, llm okay so what is the llm we are using here so we are using like just a second we'll go back to that llm so we are using for llm3 okay for this one what we need to do we need to just if you see here there is a command right ulama run llm3 just we need to copy this one and we need to run in the command prompt. okay so if you see here i am already executed this command ulama run llm3 so this space is available 4 gb 4.7 gb so it will download it completely it will pull and uh, it will get the response uh, success okay once it is done, so it is ready to work with that uh, Lama 3. Okay. So this is the steps required from the Lama 3 set. One is for downloading the Lama and installation. After that, we need to run this command. So it will, uh, now it is started. Okay. So in this case, if we want to directly call these things also from the postman, for example, this is the postman, see localhost 11434 API generator. Okay. When I calling this one, so what is the response it is giving? It is giving the, uh, this is the generator, okay? I am passing from, tell me a joke about a teacher. So it is giving the response like this, okay? So here I am not using the Java, I mean Spring Boot I am not using. Directly I am hitting the uh, API for LLM3, Olama, okay? So this is one way, directly you can test the Olama. So if you want to test with uh, your Spring Boot AA, then you can come to that, uh, start.spring.io and you can create one application so here if you see marvin 3.2.6 i am selecting if you are selecting 3.3.3 .3, it is not available actually this jar is not supported along my ai okay so you need to select 3.2.6 and select three dependencies spring web and ai okay these two dependencies are required once it is done you can load that one into that your intellij id okay so once you are loaded so here, uh, if you see, so first what we required in the controller, if you see this controller, so here I created two methods. So one is for, one is for get method, one is for post method. So this is normal generator. I'm not passing anything from the URI side as an input, but here directly I'm mentioning prompt message, okay? So when I call this one, it automatically come to the generator message. And if you see, this is the chart length, OLM chart length. So this is the, uh, class we require to deal with the OLM3, okay? So from the chart line, we are passing the messages and calling the generate message. So this is the request we are passing to that. If you see, this is the URL. URL is nothing but uh, that uh, base URL for the LLM, okay? So if you see, uh, this is I'm setting into the application.properties. If you go to the application.properties, so this is the base URL. This is nothing but our uh, local only so this is running in this port right so this is for this one and model what model you are using these two is different and the server dot port is our spring boot application related port okay so we we'll come to the again this uh, service dot imp here so we are generating and we i am passing what i am passing for this one if you see i am passing url request what is the request request is nothing model name and prompt is nothing but message and there is one more argument stream i am passing okay so with this i am calling to that uh, this one llm okay so if you are calling this llm so llm3 then it will get the response okay that's it these things we are doing here okay and if you see there is a one more method we are also calling if you see another method is like a jokes api okay so we need to pass input as what uh, so jokes related to which one for example student teacher animals whatever you want to call this method from the postman for example if you see here i am calling that one as a post api i am passing generative and here if you see the arguments i am passing llm3 tell me a joke about the teacher and false because this is completely i'm passing from the api set here in the request param i am setting that input but here i am not setting on the path variable i am passing so this is the topic it will send to the generator okay again it is also 
same only it is also forming the same request and calling to the, the same method only from the LLM side with the same model and same URL okay this is the two APIs where I added in in this one okay and after that one you can just start your Spring Boot application and if you see this you can start the Spring Boot application okay one second so once you start a spring boot application so it will run on port number see 8686 running okay if you come here so this is the post model number is llm3 tell me a joke about teacher stream is your faults okay so this is i'm directly calling to the llm okay okay so instead of that if you want to call from postman postman means our uh, spring boot application okay so from here i am calling this one if you see this is the post method and this is the uri for that and there is nothing is there directly i am passing in the path variables okay so you can hit this api and it will give the response you can hit this you will see how this response will looks like okay so this will come from the llm3 model okay so llm3 model what the model we are using So this lama 3 is the model we are using okay this most this is open source okay capable openly available lm llm to date okay you can use your pocs and if you want you can use your projects also using the llm 3 okay so what kind of response see now response is received see so just you can observe just now you can observe this response so this is the response this is a message and here is the response here is a complete response about that okay it is one of why did student bring to the ladder class because of their having a because they wanted to take their education to the new heights okay this is one uh, joke actually we are passing as a student right so that is the reason is it is giving as a student joke, okay so if you are not so here if you see i'm passing this one as a path variable okay there is one more method get method so if you see so here in this get method uh this one is get method actually so in this get method if you see i am passing from the prompt message this is for uh from i am directly calling to the llm okay so but coming to our spring boot application again there is a generate one more method so here also i am not passing anything directly it is available in the controller level okay so in the controller level if you observe so this is the input it will set to this generate message okay okay so like this we need to integrate this uh, ai model so this ai model is llm3 okay so like this you can integrate okay so if you have any doubts on this uh, api so how what are the parameters and is there any other apis so just you can go to the api documentation here and you can read it all this api document if you see the create a model so if you want to create any model also there and if you want to copy a model delete a model and pull a model push a model so there are so many operations is available okay just you can read the api documentation and based on that based on your requirement you can just uh, modify those changes okay so but uh, in the spring boot level i am giving the one response class this is a lambda response so if you see and configuration also given because this is a using the rest template only I am calling this service here is a rest template this is another external services right using this rest template i am calling okay so coming to the spring boot there are how many more controller response service and the config okay config for the rest template these are the things are required and the application dot properties anyway this is the same one okay so this is the flow we did now spring boot with the olam olama ai model so this is http request and this is a response you can try this one in your system so there is a uh, if you have any doubts on the steps so just you can uh, go with this my medium page i will give you this link in the description and you can try yourself on this okay so see i give a, i mentioned for http related uh, request and the response how the response looks like everything i mentioned in the medium page okay you can just go through that so if you have any doubts you can just comment in the comment box i'll uh, replay those things okay so in the further topics we can uh, see the uh, this one 
so now spring boot with olm model is done now we can how to deal with our own data because currently this data is coming from that model directly right their llm model side right? so instead of using that that data we need to integrate with our own data like uh, if if you want to deal with any pdf data for example you can put the 10 pdf data into that vector database that vector database this uh, llm model this model will uh, dm in deal with that uh, vector database there is just some apis it will fetch all the data from the vector database and again it will return back to our spring boot ai things okay so all these things using you can create one more uh, uh, generative ai applications so only you can generate like uh, chatbot kind of thing and a q and a related chatbots you can create using these things so so as of now i am this one we are using only for the postman level we are passing but we are not creating any ui okay so if you want to create any ui for this one also you can create okay like one ui like chatbot ui you can create and you can call this spring boot api this api will invoke this a model and this a model again uh, give that response back to that uh, ui okay that is one way another one another way is so people will use this streamlet <laughs> streamlet okay so they will use this one streamlet to create the ui for the the AI models actually when dealing with the AI things they will use this uh, streamlet to create the ui it is very simple actually if you see streamlet it is they given only write uh, two or three lines of code and it will come to this looks like okay so it is very simple you can go through this streamlet also to creating the ui it is very helpful okay yeah thank you thanks for watching